Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of your review channel. I do appreciate you tuning into this one. So this review is all about the Scarlet 2i2 third generation. I did the unboxing on the unboxing video. I'll leave a link below or below above wherever the links show up. I'll leave that link so you can see the unboxing and you can see the quality of the build. But this video is all about the sound. So we're looking at the gadgets, we're looking at the the the, the, the numbers, the, the, what do you call it? Not the numbers, the um the dials, we're looking at uh, the actual sound. Um, and that's really what this video is about. So tell me what you think about the sound. So I'm using an AT2035 audio technica microphone and I'll leave a link for that as well so you can see the sound test quality on that as well as so I did a video on that as well an unboxing great microphone great sound when you pair it with this I think it sounds fantastic what do you think I think it sounds cool it's not really peaking at all I get it at three quarters as you can see here hopefully you can see that because I'm actually recording this from my separate camera on the side I'm actually importing uh, the audio directly into the computer, so I want to just get a comparison so you can really hear the audio and tell me what you think. So let's do the test. Okay, so we know it has 48 volt phantom power. When you shut that off, the microphone goes dead. It has an instrument, so if you hook up an instrument to it, it tells the processor it's an instrument, and also it has the air feature. So what the air feature does, it basically gives a little bit of oomph, a little bit of pump, um, and more in their high-end devices. So this is really a cool, you can hook up, you know, if we do podcasts especially, you can hook up two different uh, the, uh, microphones, and you can do a really cool, high-quality um Bottom line, it rocks. I mean, it's a solid, solid device. It's a really good quality. How does it sound? Tell me what you think. Let's just do a test. Let's just go through this. I'm just going to lower the gain. So the gain now is at a quarter percent. A quarter percent. See if you can hear me. One, two, three, four. Turn the gain up. The gain is now 50%. percent One, two, three, four. The gain is now 50%. I'm turning the gain up to three quarters. The gain is now at three quarters. My opinion, this is probably the most optimal sound option um, when you're doing your, you're setting up your audio. Just you know, check it out. Check you know, check the meters if you want to. But to, to me, this sounds really, really good. And I'm going to go all the way to 100%. As you can see, I'm going to back up a little bit. It's definitely peaking. It's overmodulating. It's just out of control. So we, that's way, 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 way too loud. Okay, so here we are back at three, uh, back at three quarters again. Now we're going to do a test also with the with the air on. So that's that test there. Um, we can do it with the air as well. So let's back it down. Turn the air on. This is at a quarter percent. How do I sound? One, two, three, four, five. This is with the air on. How does it sound? One, two, three, four, five. Thank you for tuning in to your review channel. I hope you can hear me. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go to three quarters. So let's see the boost here. This is three quarters with the air on. So basically what this does, it picks up the high notes a little bit better. It's a little bit cleaner, a little bit more of a punch. If you can hear the difference, I'll shut it off so you can hear when it's off. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Off. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So you can hear the audio is a little bit richer on the higher notes. It's a little bit pump, a little, little bit of a boost. I think it sounds awesome. I'm gonna do all my recordings with this on. I think this is a fantastic, I really do. I really, I think this, you know, I've had the, the, the uh, Scarlet Solo for a couple of years and I wanted to upgrade. And I think all in all, this is a really, really super upgrade. Uh, like I said, you can do two instruments, you can do a, a vocal and you can do an instrument, you can do uh, two vocals, you can do podcasts. All kinds of cool stuff. So I think it sounds pretty good. What do you guys think? Leave some messages. Leave some comments down below. It really helps me out. Also, if you like the video, please like this video. Let me know if you are enjoying my reviews. I do appreciate that. Some feedback will be very much appreciated. Also, if you do subscribe to my channel, it does help support me and keep me doing keeps me doing what I'm doing. And that's that. All right, guys. I just wanted to make this quick video and just go over this with you. I mean, there's a lot of specs with this. My 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 model is how much does it cost? And how does it sound? That's always been my model, right? My model. Uh, you can go through all the specs you want, talk about everything up through the moon. I don't care. What does it cost? How does it sound? And the bottom line, the end result is on the uh, the end listener, how they hear you in what it sounds like. And I think really that's what it comes down to for all either podcasters or musicians or whoever. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. All right, guys, that's it for me. I just want to make a quick video of this, just show you just a little bit of how it sounds and tell me what you think. Any questions or any comments, leave down below. Um, if you have any special settings or special things that you do with your uh, Scarlet uh, 2i2, let me know. Leave some comments below. Let everybody else, let the community know what you're doing, what you think, and how do you think this microphone sounds? 
pairs up really nicely with this. I think it's really, really cool. So, all right, guys, that's it for me. I appreciate you tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you at the next review.